Yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Doink. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Okay. Hi, myself Ujwal. I'm working as a Drupal developer since 2006. I am a mentor, I am a contributor, I am an entrepreneur. Since 2006, I used to teach students in universities and colleges. I used to give seminars and workshops on free basis. I would love to be a part of Drupal community and I would like to contribute more and more with the community. So, Ujbal and I are at DrupalCon Asia in Mumbai, and it's been amazing so far. And everything that he just said, he's been an incredible trainer and contributor and mentor for a decade already. And a lot of people at the con said, you got to talk with this guy. He's been incredible. How did you discover Drupal? Uh, actually, like uh, we were the first one in India to start the Drupal. And uh, like our company was from Canada and like in Canada, like they were inspired with Drupal. And in 2006 and 2007, I was following to Drice and I'm a big fan of Drice. And like I see so many contributions in the community. I like I was inspired with like so many uh, developers which were uh, like who were contributing into the community. That's why it, like it gave me more and more inspiration that this is the one technology which which I can work more and more. Hmm. Was there a first project or a first, how did you discover Drupal? Yes, like my first project was, I remember that it was a theming project and that was for one of the MNC company. Uh, so I cannot disclose the name of that company, but it was under NDA, so it is uh -huh. not useful to uh -huh. disclose. But yes, it was a good experience because like that was the one flat theme and it was in 4.6. 4.6? Yes. Nice. So. Do you only do front-end work or do you do other work? I do all type of works, custom module development, custom team development, I do architecture of the projects, communication with the clients, explaining client on different builds, what different type of profiles we can use, what different type of custom products we can use. I can also guide them for the UI and UX stuff. Mm. So you did this project, you liked it. Absolutely. I started in the Drupal 4.6 days as well. You liked it. What made you want to do another project with Drupal? Yes, the best part of a Drupal is it's a CMS and there are so many inbuilt features are coming. So that inspired me that let's say if I'm com I'm coming up with a small website, then it won't require that much of effort, which it does take with a core PHP or any core platforms. So it's a ready-made solution and it's a one another part of the same solution is that it's a contributed and it's an open source, right? So everybody can contribute with so many stuff, let's say with the documentation, with the modules, with the theme. So I would be also part in a future for the same. So that was also inspiring for me that, uh, let's say, uh, if I'm not getting a credit from my company in these days, but maybe in a future, some people may use my module or a themes and they can know me that uh, he is a usual and he has developed and contributed this many stuff. Hmm. What city are you from? I am from Gujarat, Ahmedabad. From? Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad yes. in Gujarat. Yes. And that was the first Drupal community in India? Yes, absolutely. Like We were the first who have organized first Drupal camp in India. It was in 2008. And uh, in that uh, camp, we were, we were have only around 120 participants. And today in DrupalCon, we have almost 1,200 people. Right. It's it's a fantastic scene here. I, if you couldn't come to Mumbai for DrupalCon, I'm sorry because you're missing something really special. But next time you get a chance, come to a Drupal camp in India because there's an amazing community. How many people are in your local Drupal community now? Uh, we, are, uh, we are having around 180 plus Drupal developers. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, every year we are uh, now organizing three meetups. For this year, we are planning for one Drupal camp that is in mid of month September. We are uh, organizing a couple of cold sprints, uh, which will begin from uh, month of March and April. And we are also planning to have some 
uh, internship program for uh, some colleges and universities. Wow! So one thing that I've discovered about India on my trip now is that there's in already a real culture of giving and sharing between absolutely people right absolutely so would you say that there's a a, a special feeling between indians and open source somehow is that a good fit absolutely absolutely like uh, open source is a one platform which interconnects like uh, each part of the nations let's say i belong to a gujarat community right there are many other developers let's say for pune camp uh, the Panchodri is there for Mumbai, it's a Rachit. So we all are connected only because of Drupal. Mm. I used to come in Drupal Mumbai camp, uh, Drupal Pune camp. So we are interacted with so many years because of only this Drupal. Right. And because of Drupal, today in India, there are Pakistanis India, here. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. are um, Italians and Americans yeah. and Germans and, you know, people from, from Taiwan. And I've met people from um, all over India as well and from Bengal. It's, so it's a great, I, I, like that, um, I like that aspect. I think that the most important thing for me in Drupal is, is the community, Absolutely. actually. So what, what, what's your favorite thing in Drupal? For me, the favorite thing in Drupal is its community uh -huh. and the contributions. It's amazing. Without contribution and community, uh, Drupal will never be going on top. Hmm. It took us a long time, but Drupal 8 is here. And India was the, the second most contributing country to Drupal Core. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. Are you happy about Drupal 8 being here? Have you worked with it yet? Yes, yes. I have already started with Drupal 8 and would also like other people and other developers to start working with Drupal 8 because more and more early we adopt the Drupal 8. So that will be helpful for all of us because like more and more we will use the Drupal 8 based on that like we will identify what are the issues in existing sure. package and existing installation profiles so based on that we will have some solutions for that and we will also identify that what are the contributor stuff which are already not migrated and we're supposed to migrate them. Mm. Are, are you enjoying working with Drupal 8? Absolutely. So compare working with Drupal 7 to working with Drupal 8 as you know in your role. Okay so the first part is it's mobile DNM. Uh -huh. So we do not need to worry about convincing a client that shall we go with responsive stuff or not because it's already in its DNA and it's by default responsive. Responsive for free! Yes, it's, for free. <laughs> it's for free. Anyone admin layer is also responsive so we do not need to worry about the admin layer. That's too. very nice. Yes. And another part is uh, inline editing. Mm. So for media industry and other industry, it is very much easier for them to handle this kind of projects and the portals. I guess the, tr the, 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 the editorial training is a little simpler then. Yes, absolutely. Mm, Even the great. multilingual part ah. within itself. Sure, 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 so sure. Like currently I'm working for one of the media company. Uh, it's a one large project and it is for almost three languages. So it is one of the good project and like it is a subdomain project and uh, we are working on architecture of the same project and we are looking to build it in Drupal 8. Nice. So currently we are evaluating that what type of modules we will able to use and if any requirement of custom module then is it feasible to implement or not. What do you see Drupal's future in India looking like? It is too good, it is too good and uh, Currently, we are working, let's say, for my community and my state. I am working with uh, colleges and university, right? So we are uh, showing an awareness to the students and colleges and the authorities that uh, there is a future of open source and Drupal, right? So they may push there some of the courses with Drupal and other technologies, right? So whenever those people will come into the market, we will have a already backup of Drupal with them, right? Ha, ha, ha. So we do not need to uh, like uh, invest our. <coughs> Uh, our uh, what we can say like our work or uh, what we can say is our productive work with them right right we can directly put them in put them and jump them into the live projects right and they know it and they like it yes absolutely and uh, that is kind of a passion right because they have studied the sub same subject in their uh, like exam curriculum so that's why it's been very easy for them to cop up with that mm. and like currently in India it's a market of uh, .NET Java so those students who are working uh, in their education they are also they are like, like what I can say like they are more interested with open uh, not open source technology much but uh, .NET and Java and mobile applications so it's our role that we can educate them and let them know by doing this kind of cons and events that 
these are the platform which you can look for your careers mm. and come with us and we will provide you some opportunity and uh, with this opportunity we will showcase them these many projects you can achieve it these are the <coughs> people who have achieved a lot many things so they will have a reason that these are the goals and these are the future of the three party mm. so what can the rest of the world or the rest of the Drupal community learn from the Drupal community in India? Yes, the one part of uh, our community is like interaction with all of the different communities. So let's say Drupal is a big country, right? We have uh, many small sub communities. So for this Drupal con, we all together for this con and we have shown that we are uh, passionate about Drupal. With our, we, <coughs> it is not about we are living in which city or which state it's all about the Drupal mm. so it's on us let's come together let's come together let's contribute and let be at the top to the Drupal nice thank you so much for all your contributions thank you. Thank you and so everything much. you do if any of you are wondering whether you should come and meet the Indian Drupal community at any time I highly highly recommend it it's a wonderful bunch of people doing amazing amazing thank things thanks again thank you thank you so much so